Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you're listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries, the daily tales of Joy Shelley, the forgotten girl who lives in a dream. So, yes, this is the first official episode. We had an episode zero, but this is number one. This is the first Squash Buckler Diaries and not the introduction. So, remember, we are creating a heroine, an amazing heroine who may save the world one day, but now she's a kid. And actually a small kid. We're going to see her grow up. We're going to see what she does in her quiet times. We're going to see the building blocks that would later make her who she'll become. So, take a deep breath. Because the diaries are really short. And they're just snippets of life in the dream. With a father who is only there when he sleeps. Just... This is just their little life on a pirate ship called Bunny's Revenge, fighting villains and bad guys almost every day of their lives because that's what the father is dreaming about. And you have to take a deep breath because it's long. We're going to cover season one is going to be uh, ages two to six. Then season two will be ages six to nine. Then we're going to move up and up and up and up. So, where do you start life? Where do you start to show what makes up a heroine? Well, well, how about Justin, her father, trying to comb her hair? Here we go. Squash Buckley Diary 1. How Justin brushes Joy's hair. Joy's age, two and a half. Told by the Red Dragon. Dragoness. No, no, no. Joy, you have to. This is how I knew, even at age two, that Joy, my dragon little, would have the power to change the world. This is, as I said, the Red Dragon talking, telling the story that she saw. No! Joy, you have to comb your hair. Justin, her father, which I call Dragon Father, was standing above her in the middle of the deck on Bunny's Revenge with a hairbrush she had just summoned out of thin air. I could see them from my hiding spot with my sharp dragon's eyes. Dragon Father tried to reach for her with a comb. Dragon Little shook her head vigorously. Joy, seriously, the more you don't let me comb, the more it's going to hurt when I do. Dragon Little shook her head again. This went on for five minutes. I won't detail every second of it, but this is the moment I realized the kind of person Dragon Little was. At the end of five minutes, Dragon Father was shouting at her at the top of his lungs, completely exasperated. Dragon Little then smiled and, standing on two legs, spread them a bit and bent her back all the way forward. Her long blonde hair fell forward, some of it on the deck. Okay, like this. No, stand up. Like this. Dragon Father had no more fight in him. He combed her hair with her head upside down. And from that day on, until Joy combed her own hair every day, that is how Dragon Father would comb her hair, upside down. The hairbrush disappeared from Dragon Father's hand, as it does in dreams, and Dragon Little's toothbrush appeared in the other. All right, open your mouth. I'll brush your teeth and we'll go fight the witches. No! Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags, Justin, Joy. Guy here again. I think we should use the end of these episodes to get to know each other a little bit. Like, chances are you don't know who I am. So my name is Guy Hassan. I write science fiction and fantasy, in this case, fantasy. And I came up with the idea for Lost in Dreams. The, the story about Joy and Justin after my first daughter was born eight years ago. Well, nine actually already. So that's, that's how long I've been sitting on this. We had to 
go to some checkup and everything was good. You know, it's a regular, whatever, thingy, ultrasound thingy. Uh, but uh, she cried so much in the checkup that my heart broke. And that's when I knew I would write a story about a father and a daughter. The, the entire span of her life was there for me in my head in a few minutes. Like the fact that she was born into the dream, the fact she was raised by a father who was only there when he was asleep, uh, why she was born into the dream, what would happen when she's a kid, what would happen when she's a teenager, when she's older, when she's really older, if she'll ever survive. No spoilers, I'm not telling you how long this is. So a lot of things happened as I tried to write this story in various versions, and I'll tell you about them as we go along. But for now, I can tell you that I have three kids now, three girls, each one as stubborn as I was when I was a kid. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> I was, I was stubborn. I was, I was really stubborn. I think you can't imagine how stubborn I was. And perhaps I think they're surpassing me. So, uh, each one of my daughters is not only stubborn, stubborn, but she's, uh, they're all as amazing as joy will be when you get to know her. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of stuff about being stubborn and this actual thing actually happened. And Lost in Dreams, uh, the Squash Buckler Diaries, is a diary of our actual lives in fantasy form. So this is on the one hand just an epic fantasy being told one brick at a time. I'm building a person in front of your very eyes. I'm building a heroine in front of your eyes. But this is also a diary of my life and my wife's life with our three girls. And when I tell them these stories, they get a real kick out of it. And they love recognizing which of them is responsible for which part of Joy's behavior or, of, you know, the parents behavior. So that's it for today. More tomorrow, because I'll be back tomorrow. This is a daily podcast and we'll be back for thousands of episodes more. This is a long story. So hold on to your butts. Now, credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. If you want to know more about the Squash Buckler Diaries, check out the website, guyhasson.com. That's G-U-I, G-U-I, H-A-S-S-O-N. Not that it's S-S-O-N, not S-S-A-N. Dot com. So G-U-I-H-A-S-S-O-N dot com. The theme music is called Brash Gentleman and is by Thomas Herudek, which I hope I'm pronouncing well. The end music is a shorter version of Brash Gentleman, uh, although I played for a longer time. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> the guy coughing at the end, that's me. You'll recognize me. And I will talk uh, to you again tomorrow in the dream and check out the website. Bye-bye. <coughs> Ahoo! Sorry about that.